Hi folks, have this uh, United Power GG1300 generator. It's a little gas powered unit and it's a 1300 watt max watts and a thousand watt running watts. Um, what happens with these generators and also other ones in the uh, cheaper line anyhow this is a pretty cheap little unit. It was only a little over a hundred dollars. Anyways, they stopped producing voltage, AC voltage, and I took one of them apart to find out just what was wrong. And I discovered that on the armature part, I'm going to show you all. You can see there's a winding here and there's a winding here. Basically, it's a figure eight. How it's how how they're joined together. So it's a figure eight. If you can imagine a figure eight, it's like an eight. So that's basically how the windings go. And at the joining marks, which is right here, and on the underside of this part, one on each side is the joining spots of that figure eight. There's little bridge rectifiers in between the uh, joins of those two wires between each coil one on each side one there and one up here it's kind of down inside but it's not the bridge fire, bridge rectifiers that actually go bad what it is is that either through vibration or for whatever reason it is the uh, wires separate themselves i'll show you this one side since i have it pulled out you see the wire here it breaks away from the bridge rectifier so basically it's losing its um, connection and that's the problem with it so I already ordered some of these little bridge rectifiers they're very cheap dollar something a piece on eBay I'd post the link but you know a month down the road that that link is gonna be no more good so I'm not gonna bother doing that and there's another one on this side here now I'm going to change the bridge rectifiers only for one reason not that they're bad is that the little posts that would stick out that you would solder onto it's broke off and you can see the other ones are just cut there's only two of them that are actually used and the same as on this side two of them that are actually used and that's what happens these little wires break off the bridge rectifier it's happened on both sides this one here is also broke along with this one just separated so i ordered uh, the bridge rectifiers up and I'm going to reinstall them bridge rectifiers and I'm going to make sure that they're really really securely in there good better than actually they were from the factory so I'm hoping to prevent that from happening but if you have one of these little United Power generators or another generator that's you know a thousand watt in around there maybe even a 2500 watt one I'm not exactly sure how how big they go but any any one of them that's basically has an armature like this one here the chances are pretty good if it stopped creating voltage chances are pretty good that it's the same problem and it's a very easy fix it's really not difficult at all especially for you mechanically inclined people handy folks people that uh, are not that handy with this type of thing well they're more than likely not going to get involved with such a thing but for the ones that are mechanically inclined and you know who you are it's really easy to fix it's not difficult at all a little bit of time spent a little bit of patience and you'll have yourself a working generator again. Well, thank you for watching, folks. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that have.